So this is a video for GTA car kits on how to install a GTA car kit into a 2010 Mazda 5. And uh, we'll start off with uh, what tools you'll need. Uh, you'll need uh, a 8mm socket. You can either use a wrench or you can use like a s screwdriver type of thing like I have. You need a Phillips screwdriver and uh, you need a, a kind of clip removal tool. You also, it's good to have a, a hook. A hook like this. It's also convenient to use on this car. So we'll start off by using a hook and our clip removal tool. And the first thing you need to do is to remove this, uh, the cup holders and they're just held on clips so we'll start off you need to pry it off with the pry it up actually with the hook because you can't fit a clip removal there so we'll pry it up you can even use your hands that will ensure that you don't scratch the panel and just comes up uh, in order to remove it you need to disconnect the two plugs underneath uh, for the heated seats and uh, so we'll go ahead and do that there's one there's two and it comes off so the plugs look like this there's a white one and a black one and it goes back the same way black one goes into a black socket and white one goes into the white one and uh, to order to remove it, in order to remove it, you need to press this clip like that. It's, it's both, both of them are the same, and then it's ready to come out. So you can put that to the side. The next step is to remove uh, this panel right here, and uh, also it's held on clips. You don't even need tools. You can just pull it out towards you. There's two clips on top and uh, two clips on each side uh, you also need to remove the two connections one is for the auxiliary one is for the out power outlet so you press on it so in order to remove the white one you have to press on this clip in order to remove the gray one you need to press on the top clip like that can also put it to the side. The next step is to remove the shift knob and it just screws off counterclockwise. And you can put that to the side. The next step is to remove the this panel. It comes out as a hole also just held on clips. like that and you can put it to a side so once you remove this panel uh, you, you need to start removing the screws that uh, hold there's a lot of things to remove so we'll start off you need to remove these two eight millimeter bolts and I'm gonna use my tool and remove them quickly You need to remove both of them. That's in order to lift this panel up. Uh, I'll show you after why. The next step is to remove uh, uh, these four Phillips screws. There's one here, one here, and there's two underneath there. There's one here, and one right there. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those uh, four screws right now. Uh, so once you remove the four screws, uh, we have to remove, it's uh, the same procedure on both sides. Uh, we have to remove, there's a, this uh, plastic piece that is covering the bolt. So we need to pry it off with the hook. We insert the hook there. And it comes off. And there's a Phillips uh, screw which you need to take out 
and uh, it's the same on both sides so we're gonna come back to the screw later and take it off also what you need to do is you need your hook and your panel removal tool and it's the same on both sides driver and passenger you have this panel that comes off like that and there's another Phillips screw right here uh, we need to take that out take that off too so we're gonna do that after and also as I showed you before those uh, plastic clips so they're the same on in the front here and you also you need to move the seats forward and there is uh, where my finger is right there there is the same kind of plastic uh, panel pieces which you need to remove in order to get to the screws and there's two screws on each side and uh, you need to remove that in order what you're basically doing on this car you need to once you remove everything you also need to remove these connections and uh, once you remove the screws especially on this panel those two uh, two screws on the side you need to do this like you need to put this panel up and once you unscrewed all four screws on uh, both sides so two on each this panel will come up towards you and uh, that's the only way to take this radio out that's why I undid these two screws on the bottom of the radio uh, they'll come in handy after but the whole point is to re this whole panel right here has to come up towards you and only after that you can remove the radio and so we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the two screws on each side right here so once you lifted up this panel and uh, removed all the bolts now this uh, panel can come out uh, it just slides out we already took it out so uh, make sure you watch out for these uh, two clips here they're really tough to get out and uh, make sure you don't break this panel but what you do is you pull it out towards you and uh, make sure you're in drive because if you're not in drive it's uh, hard to get the radio out um, and so once you did that once this panel is out of the way you can now proceed to remove the the radio and uh, it's uh, held on clips and uh, just work work your way around it these uh, climate control uh, uh, climate control stay in place but the radio comes out so we're gonna show you which plug to remove there on the back it's uh, this plug right here and it's the plug uh, that goes to the auxiliary be below the gear select knob so right here we removed it this is the clip that you have to press on and pull it out so now we have our GTA car kit put together and it looks exactly like the same plug that you just took out but this one goes to the back of our uh, GTA car kit and uh, uh, on one side is the plug that goes into the radio uh, then we have on, on this side uh, the auxiliary cable coming out and the iPhone cable so we're gonna go ahead and connect this uh, GTA car kit in the back of where we just took out the plug we'll put it in put this back we're gonna put the car back in park we're gonna turn it off so it resets, you gotta wait for a minute or so until it, the module resets. I'm gonna put it back, put the key back, turn the car on. We're gonna take our uh, iPhone. So it's charging, it uh, only charges when the radio is on. So don't expect it to charge when the car is off because it gets the power from the radio. Um, I'm gonna go to the iPod mode. So let's say you're just in your regular FM. 
FM mode so we're gonna press the CD and it's gonna give you an option which you didn't have before it's gonna say EX1 so you can also go to EX2 but we'll start off from EX1 that's your uh, hybrid mode in which the as you can see the, uh, everything uh, you can control the iPod fully yourself or you can uh, switch the songs from the radio as you can see I'm switching it and it switches from the radio or if you have a playlist and you like to listen uh, to the to your iPod or your iPhone through the playlist you can go to EX2 and as you can see in this option it locks the iPhone and you can uh, f and you can fully control it through the radio and as you can see I'm switching songs so EX2 is your first playlist EX3 is your second playlist and like that up to playlist up to EX6 which is your fifth playlist and uh, you can also I don't know if this car yeah on this car it has steering wheel controls you can control the volume or and you can switch the songs I can show you that it works uh, we go back to EX1 and this it's uh, open mode right here as you can see I'm switching songs and I'm controlling my iPod through through the steering wheel controls which is also also a really good option so you can just put your iPhone away and uh, control it like that you don't actually need to see it especially if you go by playlist so the next step is after when you're putting everything back together uh, you have a few options of where to run the cable and uh, we think one of the best options on this car is you don't really have a hole but uh, this is our panel which we removed earlier this is where your auxiliary is and your uh, 12 volt uh, plug-in is so some people uh, prefer to drill a hole in here and have the wire coming out through here but uh, this customer doesn't want it here because there's not enough room to hide the wire so on the, we're gonna run the wire on the side over here underneath that panel so it comes out where the carpet is and just run it up up to the into the cup holder and uh, once you run it uh, just hide the module there's a lot of space you can even hide it behind here uh, and uh, run the wire up and check again if everything works make sure you don't over tighten the screws and uh, from there you can start your start enjoying your GTA car kit in a uh, 2010 Mazda 5 and I hope you like the video and if you have any questions just ask and see you next time